I'll leave that for you. Thank you, sir. We good? Yep. I, I guess the first thing to say is thank you for coming. We appreciate you being here. Um, you know, it's not every day you get to introduce a new football coach for your Division One football program, and uh, especially not um, after a historic run uh, through the playoffs for this Black Bear program, and it's something very exciting. Uh, we're very, uh, you know, we're happy for Joe Harrisimiak. Uh, he did some wonderful things here at the University of Maine. We'll be grateful for his efforts and for his uh, uh, ability to raise the quality of this program and to provide a great experience for our students. And we're thrilled for the new opportunities he has at the University of Minnesota. Um, we've known for a couple of weeks that this was a possibility, that uh, Joe may be moving on. And so in, uh, in small ways, we've been moving forward. We're trying to figure out the best way uh, to keep the momentum of the program going and how to make sure we best um, accommodate our returning students help keep our recruiting class together um, and also one of our big priorities was to do as best we could to retain our our coaching staff um, i think joe would be the first one to tell you that not one person gets the credit for all the good things that happened this year with this football program um, you know certainly we had outstanding students but we had an incredible coaching staff and uh, they did terrific work all year long and i think it's important that that be recognized um, from the very start, uh, I think we were open about the fact that we wanted to look internal first about what available uh, options we had off our existing staff. Um, and quite frankly, there are a number of coaches on this staff who we feel are going to make outstanding head coaches. Uh, but through the process, it was pretty clear we were going to focus our uh, efforts on um, recruiting Nick for this position. Um, Nick has a terrific rapport with our students. Uh, a, a really uh, a gift in how he reaches them and, and connects with them on a very personal level, um, understands how to teach and understands that students learn in different capacities and in different ways. And uh, that's getting tougher and tougher to do uh, with young people today and Nick's got a real gift for that. So that's something that's really important. The other thing that really stands out, uh, Nick has uh, some outstanding organizational skills. And you take a look at the uh, requirements of running an organization the size of a Division I football program, all the moving parts that are necessary to uh, be able to lasso and, and keep your hands around a little bit. Uh, Nick absolutely has the skill set to be able to handle this and handle it very, very well. Um, and finally, uh, once you get to know Nick and get to spend some time with him, you'll understand he has a remarkable way about him in terms of how he handles some of the outside pressures of coaching at this level. And you think about what a head coach has to deal with in Division I. You have to deal with the media, have to deal with sponsors, you have to deal with donors, you have to deal with the public, you have to deal with faculty. There's so many external um, influencers that come at you when you're the head coach of a program uh, like University of Maine, uh, that it takes a certain kind of personality and it takes a certain kind of expertise and it takes a certain type of internal fortitude to be able to handle those um, uh, ancillary elements of coaching. And I'm 100% confident that, that Nick has uh, the tools and the personality to be able to handle that. And so um, the choice became very easy. Um, it's something uh, that moved relatively quickly. I can tell you that Nick had his formal interview with President Farini Monday last evening, so that tells you exactly how fast this process has moved. Um, again, we wanted this to go quickly to put our students' minds at ease, to um, do as the best we could to retain our coaching staff because we really like the coaches we have with us, um, to uh, make sure that we keep our recruiting uh, class uh, strong and together um, and also to make sure we go into the holidays on a high note and we can keep this momentum going. We feel really, really good about where this football program is right now. Uh, we feel like the program that we have coming back, the young men who will be representing the University of Maine next year are going to continue to be able to be successful and I'm 100% confident we've uh, identified the right person to continue the su success of the University of Maine football program. And so it's I guess it's my pleasure to introduce our new head football coach, Nick Charles. I appreciate it. That's not bad. I know, it's not bad. It's I should good. mention it was his birthday yesterday as well, so it <laughs> turned into a pretty good birthday. It was, it wasn't bad. So, <laughs> really quick, uh, I just want to start off by thanking um, our president, Farini Mundi, and our athletic director, obviously, Ken Ralph, has uh, been outstanding throughout this process. and. 
it's just been been really really seamless it's only been a couple days but it's it's exciting and it's good to see the direction of this program and what's going on in orono um, one of the other people i definitely need to thank who actually just walked in is my my wife maria and my daughter madeline and a black bear to be named in may <laughs> hanging out in there so um, obviously maria you make all this possible and I, i'm really excited to make this our new home as we continue to be here uh, up in orono you know, the other people that are really, really important that I have to thank are, are back in Salem, my hometown, my family, uh, my parents, especially my father. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited that he's going to get to still pace around on the sideline for our games. I'm not really sure how he gets down there, but I'm very, very excited for him. Um, and obviously my mother. I just have a tremendous family back home. So it's, it's really, really exciting that we get to continue to live and work and be in the Northeast at a tremendous university. To our current team, I just want to thank them for their continued support and everything they accomplished this season. It was just a remarkable season and our players are just remarkable people. It's just very, very exciting to have a chance to, to continue to work with them. Lastly, I just want to thank Coach Kaz for hiring a 25-year-old back in the day to his first position job. And obviously, Joe Arasimiak is a big reason why I'm here right now and he's a dear friend and I'm very, very excited for him. But ultimately he's got a lot to do with me being here and I'm very, very excited for our relationship to continue, even though he's in Minnesota, but I'm proud of him. There's a lot of things I do wanna say right now, but ultimately I'm just very, very excited for what we've accomplished and what we're gonna to continue to accomplish here. You'll see the continuation of what this program means to our community. Last season, I think we all saw what the University of Maine football program can do for our school, our state and our community. And not only is that just at a local level uh, in the Northeast, but it's at a national level now. And that success is something we have to try to strive for to continue. So I'm very, very excited about that and very, very proud of what we accomplished, but obviously this needs to continue. And we're excited to do that. My time before this, I spent at Boston College and it had a major impact on where I'm at today. But my experience here at the University of Maine is really what has molded me to be in this position right now. It's a tremendous place and it's a real honor to be in this position. And I'm just thankful that I've had this opportunity and very, very humbled by it. The last thing I'll say is, is this moment's really not about me. It's ultimately about a lot of people who put a lot of work in. May that be academics, on and off the field, our training staff, guys in the weight room, our coaches, the families of our coaches and our players. You know, we're involved in everything in their lives and it's just a tremendous achievement, obviously for me, but for our football family. And I think we all saw this season what the, the football family means to our university and our great state and who we are now. So I just wanna say thank you. And, I, and I'm very, very excited to continue this and the future of our program is very, very bright. And I'm very, very excited to keep doing this thing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Let's take a, a few questions for coach if anyone has them. You've uh, very effective coordinator. Um, do you think this is a natural transition that's uh, fairly easy for you, or do you have skills that the head coaching position really warrants? I think I think it's pretty natural. Just the, the nice thing was with uh, especially with Joe gave me a lot of autonomy on the offense. So, you know, I kind of ran the show over there, and it, it was good prep really for this experience. And I feel very very ready. I think it's the next step in my professional life. Been a pretty pretty quick transition the last two years from special teams to offense and now to head coach, I guess, two years ago, start of the season or in the off season, did you really think that, you know, this could happen this fast? It's a good question. Uh, what, what do I really think? I think my career and what I've tried to do with, with my family is just always be moving forward. And, you know, we feel this is a tremendous opportunity. And, to me, nothing really surprises me in this profession at this point, and ultimately, I just tried to be prepared for a moment like this, whenever that came. Uh, first for Ken, uh, when Coach Cosgrove stepped down, he, he really was pushing for Joe Harrisimiak at the time. Um, did Joe push for Nick? Uh, did you take his input on, on the selection? I absolutely did. Um, obviously, I have great respect for, for what Joe had done here. Um, he has great insight and he has spectacular people skills. And it's, it's one of the reasons the team was so successful is how he's reached the players. 
Um, but he had no hesitation in terms of, uh, when I asked him point blank, I said, who gets the program? And he said, it's Nick. And uh, explained to me all the reasons why. And, you know, and I talked to the players and the, I talked to the players and they were like, it's Nick. Um, I talked to a lot of staff and, you know, one of the things that we had was you look at the quality of staff we had, and, uh, you know, there's lots of different answers, but clearly Nick had the support. Joe was 100% behind him. And Nick, did he offer up any, any uh, quick advice uh, the last few hours? He's, the, the interesting thing about him is he, you got to ask for that if you want his advice. He just kind of goes about his business. The one thing I learned from him, the biggest thing is just he has tremendous patience with people and an ability to, to empower his staff. And that's something I think I'll take from Joe. How important was it to keep this, you know, in the family, to kind of keep the momentum going through this season? I, th I've, I think very, very important. You know, obviously there was a lot of momentum building and things are still going. Right now we bring a lot of guys back. Um, ultimately, you know, I'm just honored to be a part of that. And I feel like our team is very ready to continue this where we are as a university. So, you know, I definitely think it's important. <laughs> How much as a coach have you grown on this staff? A good amount, a good amount. I was 25 when I got here. I just turned 30 the other day, which is a little scary. But, you know, I've had a lot of experiences here and started off as a position coach. And I got here two days before spring ball. And there's a lot of guys that, that I coached that remember me as a young coach, but you know, I'd like to think that those values and the things that I believed in have continued to grow since then. So th this experience here has been um, extremely important in my professional life and then also my personal life. You know, this, is, this is my home. Uh, my daughter was born here, and there's just a lot of things that, that I can attribute to Maine being a really successful and, and happy place for us. Have you been able to talk to any of the players yet, or is this all fairly, fairly new to them? We, we reached out to them before this. We let them know before the news went out. Um, it seemed like they were happy, so that's what I'll say. No more play calling? We're going to evaluate that. We're going to figure that out as we get there. And then how about the staff? I know it just happened, but are you going to be looking to add the holes internally or bring people in? Well, we want to keep the continuity of everything that's going on as much as we can. And I think we have a tremendous staff, you know, and I was involved in, in a lot of them being here, but obviously it was myself and Coach Arasimiak and, and Coach Heatherman, who, you know, I think I have tremendous respect for and I'm happy for him. But we do have some things we need to do on our staff, but, you know, we want to keep as much continuity as possible. And have the, have the coaches that are still here, have they said they'd like to stay at this stage? Yes. They have. A couple more. Anyone has one? What's that? Thanks, Coach. Cool. Thank Great. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.